Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Christy and today I have a collab with Madison Pippins. If you have not checked out her channel, you really need to. She does Dollar Tree hauls, Dollar General couponing scenarios. She also does Trader Joe's hauls, box swaps. She does it all just like I do. So make sure you check out her channel and tell her that I sent you. Make sure you check the description box below. I'll have her channel link there. I'll also have my Instagram name below. Make sure you like and subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. Madison is doing a recipe series and all dishes will have five ingredients or less. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make a chicken pot pie. This recipe is so easy and so tasty that you're guaranteed to love it. All ingredients and measurements will be listed in the description box below. This first step is completely optional, but for me, I would rather go ahead and warm all of the ingredients before I start the pot pie. You will need a can of cream of mushroom and a can of cream of chicken soup. I go ahead and warm these on the stove eye so that when I start layering it in my casserole dish, the ingredients are already warm and it doesn't take as long to heat throughout. This is a really quick process. It takes just a few minutes to warm the condensed soups. You do not want to add anything to this. This is just two cans of condensed soup. And if you don't want to use the cream of mushroom, you can use a can of cream of chicken or you can use a can of cream of celery. You will be adding a bag of mixed vegetables to your cream of chicken and mushroom soup. And you do want this bag already thawed out. Again, all this is really unnecessary. It's just something I prefer. If you would like to take a large bowl, add your two condensed soups, your vegetables that are already thawed, and your chicken, mix it up. You can just layer it in your casserole dish without heating the products together. You will need two cups of cooked chicken. For convenience factor, I used a rotisserie chicken, but you don't have to do that. And you will want to shred the chicken into small pieces. Once I have enough chicken ready, I go ahead and add that to the pot of my vegetables and condensed soups. And mix well. After all this is mixed together, this is when I start adding my seasonings. I realize that seasonings is a personal preference. Add whichever ones that you like best. I added a dash of garlic, salt, ground pepper, poultry seasoning, and sage. This recipe calls for a nine by 13 rectangular pan. I sprayed my container down with olive oil so that nothing would stick while it cooks. In the next step, all you have to do is put all of your ingredients into your nine by 13 pan and even that out so that it is distributed nicely. In a side note, the frozen vegetables that I picked up were from Walmart and they had green beans, peas, carrots, and corn. Once you have that all even in your 9 by 13 dish, you will be adding a layer of crescent dinner rolls. I picked up flaky, but you can use whichever you like. 
These are the eight count crescent rolls. In this step, you'll just want to unroll your crescent dough and make sure you pinch the edges together where the lines are dotted and you're supposed to separate and have individual crescent rolls. You'll want this to be one big long sheet of dough. I start out by doing this half at a time just so that I don't get overwhelmed. Once you have your dough seamless, you just want to gently remove it and add it to the top of your 9 by 13 container. Then you just do the same with your second half of the crescent roll dough. And once you have it in place, you're just going to want to go around the edges and pinch it so that it is sealed. You will be placing this in a preheated oven at 350 for approximately 25 minutes. Since all the ingredients are already warmed throughout and the chicken is cooked, all we're doing is just browning our crescent roll dough. Again, I am no chef. I have not studied culinary one bit. And I'm sure that you guys could make this look absolutely gorgeous if you wanted to. After I remove it from the oven, I like to let it sit for about 10 minutes so that it cools some. We also like to serve this with mashed potatoes and a side of rolls. I know, I know, we love our carbs. And Briley even likes it with macaroni and cheese. But for me, I'm just happy with a nice big bowl full of chicken pot pie on a cool fall day. This is one of my favorite quick and simple comfort food recipes. If you try this recipe, make sure you comment below and let me know how you liked it. Again, check the description box below for your ingredients and for a link to Madison's channel. Thank <laughs> you. 